Lindsay with supercrossonline.com. Justin, congratulations for his podium. How does it feel? It was incredible out there. You guys were all such in a freight train in the beginning and then everything kind of settled down. You rode your own race. What's it feel like to get your first podium here in the mud at Anaheim? Dude, I'm so pumped. Uh, you know, working with you for for the past three years, I got to give it up to you also. And uh, dude, this is an unbelievable feeling in front of so many fans and all the hard work pays off with just this one moment right here. And uh, my team's great. Everything, uh, my trainer and it's just, a, it's just a whole different feeling I never thought I'd experience. Yeah, I have to admit, I was definitely pulling for you a little biased uh, opinion there. But, man, you really rode solid in the middle of the race there when people started making mistakes and the ruts and the lappers started coming into play. Everybody separated, and you just kept your head on straight, pick your way through lappers. Lawrence went down. I mean, you had to do a lot of work to get back up there. Was there any time, any point where you started to tighten up and start to worry about the lappers or anything? You know, not really. I, I pushed real hard at the beginning. I think I was, like, fifth at the beginning, and then... Uh, Working my way up to second at one point, and then fell back to third, I believe, and then uh, fell back to fourth. And now I just, you know, I've been doing my work in the off season, and uh, I knew I'd be there for all 15 laps. So towards the halfway mark, I guess kind of told myself to ride my own race. There's lappers, and uh, everybody's going to make mistakes. So uh, just rode my own race and came out with third. I'm pumped. Congratulations on the first win. Awesome. You guys were really in tight formation in the beginning there, and you were being really patient, picking your way through. And then at the end, you kind of just spread it out, did what you had to do. It was an incredible 15 laps. Yeah, definitely. We got a little bunched up there for a while, but uh, I managed to come through right on top. And uh, once I got in the lead, I just focused on putting in solid laps, you know, consistent, no mistakes. But, uh, dude, I got to give it up for my team, Rockstar, Makita Suzuki, the whole team. And uh, it's, it's great. You know, I'm pumped to be right here right now. How was it? Was the tra track starting to tack up a little bit there at the end there? It looked like it was getting ruddier and ruddier, but then the lappers were getting in the way, and you really had to ride a smart race. Jason went down there, but you, you definitely kept things under control. No, definitely. I mean, uh, the track, I, th it, I think it was staying the same, but I just it was just coming to me nat more natural. I was riding more looser, flowing, and, uh, dude, I, I was just, the bike worked awesome. I'm pumped, super pumped, ecstatic, dude. I, uh, it's good. Congratulations, Ryan Dungey, your points leader, heading into Phoenix round two.